Venezia Mundi Splendor is the title chosen by Lare Verdi for its new recording project, uh, which for the first time collects uh, musical composition um, composed uh, approximately between 1330 and 1430, devoted to uh, Venetian doges and for the city of Venice itself. Uh, the title is borrowed by one of the most famous uh, motet um, composed by Johannes Ciconia in the occasion of the um, submission of the Comune of Padua to the uh, Republic of Venice happened in 1406 uh, at the time of Doge Michele Steno. This project uh, includes nine um, celebrative motets, which according to the more um, uh, update uh, musicological research, have been tied directly to the Doge of Venice, and particularly in the age between uh, Francesco Dandolo, who was Doge between 1329 and 39, and Francesco Foscari, who was a very famous, and also uh, he leaded the city of Venice for many years, because uh, he was elected Doge when he was uh, very young, he was 50, and so between 1423 and 1457. Celebrate the Doge and some events that happened in the city in this period of approximately 100 years. Uh, the composers include uh, uh, for attributions uh, Marchetto da Padova and Francesco Landini and for sure Johannes Ciconia, Antonius Romanus, Ugo de Lantis and Cristoforus de Monte. So, uh, musically speaking, these compositions uh, are typical of the uh, what is defined Italian style of motets, and uh, um, uh, this is special because uh, we are in front of the first example of these compositions, uh, which uh, are representative of a style very uh, different uh, compared with the French style of motet, which had an um, older tradition that uh, already started in, in the 13th century. So in, Ita in Italy, this uh, um, genre of, of compositions uh, started uh, mostly in the north of Italy, particularly in Venice, and uh, with the char musical characteristics very distinguished by the French style of motets. The election for the Doge, um, uh, political events, uh, civic or even uh, uh, devotional uh, occasion uh, are the um, most uh, reasonable uh, reasons for which this composition has been composed and uh, this information we can get uh, directly from the text as well as we can get the information about which Doge was the one for, uh, for which uh, the composition had been composed, uh, thanks to the fact that the name of the doge are always cited in the compositions. Now, I'd like to tell you a story which is very, in some way, funny. The first uh, motet that we are going to record in this day uh, is devoted to um, an event that was uh, uh, used to happen every year uh, during uh, um, Christmas time, uh, so a visit of the Doge to the island of uh, uh, San Giorgio, the island where we are now and where we are recording. And uh, this composition has been composed for this occasion of the visit of the Doge, in this case uh, it's, uh, it was uh, Francesco Dandolo, so the first. And uh, the manuscript uh, of this piece was known to have been, uh, to have been uh, um, conserved here in the library of the Abbey. Uh, one year ago, I went here to, to, to see the manuscript, to update in a very old uh, transcription, because all the transcription of, of, the, of the motets uh, have been uh, updated by my, myself. And so I came here, I, I wanted to give a look to this uh, manuscript, and uh, I discovered that this manuscript was lost. 
So I asked to, to the archivist to look for it and he uh, did everything, he did a big research for, for in the library and he discovered that this manuscript was uh, lost. And maybe it was not a manuscript, it was just two folios. And maybe he thought have been stolen by someone. So now we are recording here in the Cenacolo of Palladio, in the same island. It was uh, the refectory of the abbey. And uh, at the beginning of 19th century, um, Napoleon stole the huge painting by Veronese, who was uh, uh, at, the, uh, at the backside of the, of the refectory. And uh, nowadays, uh, uh, in the last years, uh, a, a, um, a very special uh, photographic copy of this painting have been again put on the wall. So now in the same place where happened this kind of uh, uh, stall uh, uh, event, uh, stalling event, uh, and, um, we are recording a piece uh, based on a manuscript that was here years ago and now it's stolen again. Our choice in the performing has been to try to render as much as possible the festivity, the, 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 I mean the, the festive qualities of this repertoire and we have chosen to use a bassa cappella and alta cappella group of instruments which means a group of uh, organetto, fiddle, harp, recorder, mute cornet and voices and on the other side two trombones and cornetto to um, try to on one side to give variety but also to uh, respect in a, in a way the instruments that uh, were used more in the uh, 14th century and the most more probably most probably instrument used in 15th century so in this case we also try to uh, create a difference in in the color and uh, as well as in the performing between the motets uh, more uh, ancient more earlier uh, in in the age and uh, uh, compare with the other that have been composed later <laughs> 